Hey, farm peeps, Tosher 12 here. Guys, I'm back. I know, it's been a while. I was kind of on an extended vacation, by choice. It was amazing, to say the least. I kept in touch, but I just didn't do a whole lot of videos. But I'm back, and I'm getting caught up. Uh, for the most part, anyway. <laughs> the best I can. Oh, goodness. We have a lot going on, a lot fixing to go on, and we have a lot of mods to go through, which I'm going to do a lot of honorable mentions through this. First off, <clears throat> we have the Flegel Large Capacity Shovels and the Brooms. Look at those. These are cool. I'm thinking I like these. I'm just thinking. And I can... Oh my God. Oh, ho, ho, ho. are you looking at that? I just figured this out. That is a lightweight bucket or we can lift anything in game. Oh my. How cool is that? I just figured that out. Oh, ho. let's go try this. Okay, it must be a lightweight bucket. Like a super lightweight bucket. I just seen the hand up here. I thought, you got to be kidding me. And I wasn't joking. That is cool. Oh. Whoa. I don't guess you can lift anything in game. But I guess those buckets, you can. You can't lift the manure bucket. But she can lift the other ones. Okay. That's just too cool. That is just too cool. Whoa. Neat. There you have it. <laughs> you seen it here. Wow. That's cool. Uh, the Flegel large capacity shovels are great tools for loading light goods. With the broom, you can clean the farm or your stables. And it cleans up just like you would uh, basically like a roller. I mean, it, it just makes it disappear. It's gone. See you. Uh, which I actually like using my stuff, so I don't know if I'd use these, but I still think they're cool. Now, the buckets... Is available for all platforms. The author is Maxter, M A X T E R. It's in, under front loaders. And the price is anywhere from 2000 to 2750 The capacity is 1250 to 2150 And they're working width is 1.6 meters to 2.8. The brooms are 550 and 800 And the working width is 2 and 3 meters. So you have those right there. That is cool. And of course. Those are located right there in the front loaders. And you scroll through all your stuff you don't need. As me, through the CSZ, and boom, it starts right there. And goes the large capacity shovel, large capacity shovel, large capacity shovel, large capacity shovel. And I hold everything. And then there's your brooms right after. And... Yeah, so three slots a piece for each of them. So that's not too bad. Not bad at all, I don't think. Next, I'm kind of excited about this. I know it's kind of corny and crazy, but I'm actually excited about this. We have a new dolly, and it's the uh, uh, tandem axle. I'm liking this. It is $4,000. You can change the color on it. Author is Chris Joe. And it's under dollies, and it's available for all platforms. So, you just scroll your little happy butt right over here to dollies, and boom, there it is. And you can change the color to it. And the design color. 
So you could have a psychedelic little dolly right there, which I think is cool because now it's a tandem axle. I just think it works better. I like the tandem axles better. Oh, we got that. And there it bees. Isn't that just cool? I love it. Even got a little work box on the back of it. That's neat. I didn't notice that beforehand. Huh. Good jiggers. Well, right here, connected to the dolly, you'll notice you can move the dolly around with the wheel loader. Move it any direction you want, forward, backwards. And if you don't like that, you can just pick it up. As long as your wheel loader is tall enough to handle it. So there you have that. Just to implement as a attachment for a trailer to the uh, wheel loader. That's all that's for. Which in and of itself, I honestly think is cool. Whether I use it or not, I don't know. But it's the wheel loader to trailer adapter. $7,500. Swedish Bonatine is the author. And it's available for all platforms. And that, my friends, is over here under miscellaneous. Tools and miscellaneous. And on mine, it's all the way to the end. Right there. It is customizable in color. But that's it. So you could actually customize it as to what you wanted, which is cool. I think that's pretty awesome. So I have those two together. I just kind of thought it fit. And we have the Flegel manure shovel. I know, I know. We got a manure fork, but it's, it's, it's neat. It's neat. Price is 700 We're uh, working with this 2050 meters it says but i think that's supposed to be liters no it says 2050 meters working with the capacity is 1140 i am so lost that's a big working width anyway it's available for all platforms and the author is gamer 8250 and that is over here under the front loaders and you go through the csz again like me and you have that installed and boom there it is seven hundred dollars and it does the chaff manure hay straw grass and silage as well so there you have that it is customizable slightly so you can change it a little bit just the colors black to back to red and That is three slots as well. And the, oh, the dolly is 14. Ouch. Dang it. That sucks. Because that one is only six. Ouch. I may have to stick with my crampy because that flegal is, oof. Dang, that sucks. Oh, well. Now we have a silage roller. Silage Packer, I guess you could say. And, oh, there it goes. Silo Press 33. And the working width is 3.3 meters. Hmm. How are we doing? Got a mass of 20, uh, 2.5 kilograms. Price is $6,500. Ready 90. RDI 90 is the author. And it's under levelers. And it's available for all platforms. And the levelers, boom. Just as it says, levelers. And you scroll over, boom, right there it is. Customizable in color. So you can change the colors up a little bit. So there you have that. Boom. 7300 total cost with the color change. So not too bad. Not too bad on that at all. Here, I wanted to go ahead and do these. We have this big old bad boy. Look at that. 
This thing is huge. Yeah, it is all there. The Rotney R O T T N E F twenty D. The uh, author is North Modding Company, available for all platforms. For logging. Yeah. Mm, it's okay. But just your typical logging truck and trailer, I guess you could say. Is neat. I give it that. That expands out. And of course, under vehicles and forestry. And boom, there it is $340,000. Customizable with the wheel brand, the wheel setup, and the engine setup. So the engine optimized is $2,000 extra. You can get your chains on it. Different types of chains. And that adapter is one slot. I mean, that's kind of cool. The roller is four slots. Not too bad. This is 23 slots. Ouch. But it's neat. I said, it's cool. It does what it's supposed to do. It logs. Alrighty. Here we have the Bergman. We have another trailer in game again, which I'm actually liking this uh, for the most part. I mean, it's okay. It's cool. The Bergman HTW. Forty-five fifty, price is four thousand forty-five thousand five hundred ninety-eight. Capacity is forty-seven thousand five hundred and forty-one, which totally kills me with those different off-the-wall numbers like that. It is customizable. Uh, the game, uh, oh, the author <laughs> is Luca, uh, and it's available for all platforms. And of course. That would happen to be under tools and trailers. And then the Bergman 4550. Right there. 4598 and the capacity is 47,541. Kills me. Customizable in rim color. The main color. And design. Color. So you can totally change that up. You got your wheel brand selection, your wheel setup, design, which puts fenders on and off, without reflectors, with reflectors, different color reflectors, uh, without the top or with the top. And then you go green lid or white lid, which is on the front. Grid. Green or white, I think the white looks better. It's all black. So you have that. And it's 13 slots. Mm, it's not too bad, I don't guess, considering it does hold a little bit, a decent amount. So it's not too bad on slots. And these, I just thought, were neat. I'm excited, for one, because these are auto-loading bail trailers for square bail and round. So you can use them as either. They are customizable, as in slight colors you can see, and they are tandem capability. You could add a square and a round and a square and a round and a square and a round and a square and a round all day long. Or you could do all square bales or you could do all round bales. The possibilities of this is amazing. 
and where did I see that? Mailing technology. Boom, right there. And now there's the end game. Don't get it confused. Keep going. There you have it, the square and the round. 26 bells for the round and 24 bells for the square. Look at that. Look at that. It's just awesome. Boom. And there's seven apiece. That sucks. Guess I can sell one. You know, you can tandem. Turn it back. Seven slots apiece. So you can tandem those and are auto loading. So that is cool. You can have 100 bells of hay on the ground and get four of these and get, whoops, wrong button. And most generally, you can get all of it. So, I mean, most generally, you got it. Boom. Boom. They open up. You drive through. You collect everything, and then you close your gate. And there you have that. Boom. I'm thinking I'm going to like these for the simple fact of they tandem and triple and quadruple. So I could pull four trailers if I had a big enough tractor and pick up all the hay on the field at one time. That's what I like about that. That is amazing. And we have an equipment trailer as far as, uh, you know, large equipment. Uh, wheeled equipment. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a side neck jumbo trailer. Author is North American Modding Company. It's under low loaders. It's available for all platforms. And we'll just go to the low loaders. And there it is for $12,000. Customizable in color somewhat. And then the main color. So you can customize the colors. So you have that going. Those hay trailers are seven a piece, which is awesome, like I said. That one is eight. Not much difference. It just doesn't haul hay, so I don't think it will. That's cool, though. I'm excited about the hay trailers. I think that's the thing I'm most excited about, to be honest, because that is just cool in itself. And now, I can get around the truck. Boom. We have the Convoy Agricole attachment. Three point attachable tool, price is $300. Cersei Modding is the author, and it's available for all platforms. And that would be under tools and miscellaneous. I do believe. No, it was not. Weights. I had to think about where I got that. Boom, right there. It's customizable in color. So there you have that. You can make it match your tractor. And that is it right there. Three twenty five for the color options and everything. Total price. There you have that. Four slots. Just for a sign that says Convoy Agra Co. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess. Maybe. Make sure I've gotten all that. I've gotten all that stuff. We do have more trailers. 
I didn't actually add them on here. I just thought I'd give them a mention and run, give them a run through with you because we've kind of got the same things already. So I didn't want to, you know, clutter it all up with other stuff we've kind of basically already got. This is the DB pack. The DB6, the DB8, the DB10, the DB12, 14, and 14 Premium. Those are all a pack in their self. They come in a, a trailer pack, and they're all kind of customizable in the same sense, per se. And you can kind of change them all up and do that. And it's the same just about on every one of them. Same setup, same getup. So there you have that. The one I do like is the DB14 Maybe the DB20. I can't remember. D20 Premium. The TS16. Uh, 44,000 liters right there. Boom. Yeah, it's not a whole lot, but it is cool. There's 40,000 is the max right there. But you go to the premium, and boom, you got 44. Same trailer. Kills me. I don't know why we have so many of them, but we do. And so I just thought I'd give them a mention. There's, generally, they're all 12 slots a piece, and the price just goes up and down from there, from the... Uh, Nine slots on that one, but uh, eight is 10, 13, 5, 15, 19, 25. So it just goes continually goes up. So we have those in game. I just kind of wanted to give them a mention. The DBL pack, the Med, uh, Metal Tech DBL pack. Uh, the price of 94. 100, 12,005, 15, and 8,500, a bell version. Capacity is 10, 12, and 14,000. You can change the capacity, the color, trailer attacher, wheels, and the cover. MAT 26 is the offer, and it's available by all platforms. And that is the DBL pack. So it would be that one there. The DBL pack. The newest one I believe we got is the DB pack, which is right here. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So that one, that's the DB pack. So there's more to the DB than there is the DBL. But it's kind of to each his own. I mean, those are 12 slots, that's 10. Uh, capacity wise, I'm getting fourteen thousand. I think the maximum was fourteen. So, but like I said, to each his own. In smaller farms, you'd be perfect. That is true. That's one thing. It'd be perfect. Let's see, that was yeah, fourteen was the largest capacity. <clears throat> And I believe that may be it for those types of mods uh, for the majority of. There was some updates to the garage with the, the workshop trigger. And there's an update to the Fent Favorite 500. And the Old Farm Countryside has an update as well. So, the only other thing that we have left is the sheep pen. And we'll just run over to it. I think it's cool looking. But there's just a few caveats. I mean, it's cool looking. It's neat. I like it. It's different. Yeah, you know, it kind of looks different and stuff. 
But we go over here, let's go to the animals. And we scoot over to the large sheep. It's, well, the, this, the sheep pasture, 65000 at $65 a day. Takes up 10 slots and it holds 80. The large sheep holds 250, 180 a day. And we'll see how much it, how many slots it takes. It takes up 10 slots. So it takes up 10 slots. That takes up 10. Holds 80, holds 250. Now the price jump is 180 a day. This one's 50,000, which is kudos. But it only holds 120, and it's still $65 a day, just as the small one was. The small one holds 80. And it takes up five slots. So it's a little less than half the cost. Or close, it's 50. That's 65. That's five slots, holds 120. That's 10 slots and it holds 80. So it's kind of a toss up. But if I was going to do anything, I would just do the 180 and hold 250. Because that's 120 and 120 is not even 250. So now I have my same slot count used. And I'm not saving all that much, but in daily cost. So personally, I'm just going to keep my large sheep pasture and probably kick that one. That's just me. I like the looks of it, though. It is cool. But as I said, is to each his own. So, I hope that was uh, kind of informative for everybody. I know I was behind, and I know it took me a little bit, but we got it caught up. Hope everyone liked it. If you did, thumbs up would be great. Share and share away. I do appreciate it. And uh, check out everybody on the future channel list. They've got some great content there. Check them all out. They're awesome people. And until next time, we'll catch you later.